Hi guys, it's me, Sarah Starbricks, or Sarah, and I wanted to share with you guys something very exciting, which is something I found tonight while I was streaming with my good friend, Solar Brick Builder, and we happened to stumble across a page which actually provided some very interesting and confirmed information from LEGO itself. So if you guys are interested to know some confirmed, definite 100% information about the new Diagon Alley set that's going to be coming out, then stay tuned and listen to this video. The information that was found is definitely official LEGO information because the information for the Diagon Alley set actually went live on a Japanese LEGO website earlier today. So the website that this information was posted on is no longer live anymore as of this moment. However, I have the information that was posted on there and I'm going to share it with you guys. The language from the website is in Japanese because it did come from a Japanese Lego store website, but um, I've had it translated and the set is confirmed to be 5,544 pieces. It is gonna be recommended for 16 and up, and the official set number is going to be 75978. So uh, some of the very most interesting things and probably what you guys most wanna know about this set are the stores that are actually going to be included in Diagon Alley. There's been a lot of speculation already given a leaked sticker sheet about what stores were actually going to be confirmed to be in this set. And I can confirm 100% without a doubt that the stores included in this set are going to be the Diagon Alley Entrance, the Ollivander's Wand Shop, the Scribulous Writing Instrument Store, the Quidditch Supply Store, Florian Fortescue's Ice Cream Parlor, Flourish and Blotts Bookstore, Wiz Weasley's Wizard Weezes, and the Daily Prophet's Main Office. So the most interesting things about this are that some of the things that have been speculated to be part of this set are actually not going to be part of it. And those are Gringotts, no Gringotts, sorry guys, no Leafy Cauldron, no Borgen and Burks, which makes me really sad because I really wanted that armoire and that store. And the most sad thing that is not part of this set is that there is going to be no Owl Emporium. So no pet store, no store where Hedgeway comes from. So that makes me really sad because I love owls. Um, there was a lot of other information as well, which maybe I can read some for you guys real quick. Uh, the Japanese translates to, This is a set that will delight Harry Potter fans who have recreated the most beautiful shopping district in London, Diagon Alley. It's like a movie. Shopping Street is full of details. It's a powerful model with a width of about one meter, which is, it's going to be about three feet wide. So if you're picturing this model, it's going to be quite large. We measured it out here at the apartment and it's actually about four base plates across, three feet. Um, that's quite a lot, it's, it's very big. And the, the height of the diagonally set is about the height of an average modular building, which is about one foot. So it's about the height of the modular bookshop, one foot or so, and three feet wide. So you're going to need a lot of space to store this set. Um, the, the Japanese doesn't actually include information about the minifigures included. It's more so talking about how you can look at this shop the wands at Ollivander's. You can get Gilderoy Lockhart's autograph at Gilderoy Lockhart's autograph session. This does seem to confirm that there will be a Lockhart in this set. And I would be willing to bet that because there is a Weasley Wizard Bees, that there is going to 
a, a Weasley's Wizard Weezes, that there is going to be a, a Ron, not a Ron, there is going to be a Fred and George community figure included in the set to probably, but not 100% confirmed on that. That's just a guess. Um, because there's a Daily Profit office for sure, probably also a Rita Skeeter figure, but that, again, for me, is not confirmed. The definite confirmed things that I know that is news for you guys is that the set is 5,544 pieces, and it's three feet wide, and it's about the height of the modular workshop. Still very exciting to learn more information about this, and we'll all be staying tuned, and hopefully they will officially release this information in the next few days. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to my news on the Diagon Alley set, and I hope that it helped you guys out with some interesting information to learn about it. Thank you, and see you guys all again in another video soon. Bye!